Yo guys, what's going on? Insanity coming back at you today with another weekly vendor reset for The Division. This time it's for the week of September 1st, 2017. Like always, we're going to go ahead and start things out over in the terminal of the base of operations. Over at the special equipment vendor, we have my favorite assault rifle for sale. The LVOAC with 22% enemy armor damage, rolled with predatory, deadly, and fierce. Definitely take that predatory off. Roll whatever it is that you need. Ferocious, destructive, brutal competent whatever you need for your specific build that gun will definitely do some damage to elites veterans and anything else that stands in your way next we're going to be making our way on upstairs over to the security wing of the base of operations and here you're going to be able to find an extended mag which a lot of people over in my discord community were considering it the item of the week so i'm going to go ahead and go with their opinion on this one it's 120 percent Extended mag size, 4% critical hit damage, 5.6% rate of fire, and again, if you're looking for a really big extended mag with 120%, that's almost max rolled right there. Go ahead and pick one of those up before the week runs out. Next, we're going to be making our way on over to the Dark Zone checkpoints. Here, we're going to make our first stop at the West 53rd Street checkpoint. There's an electronics mod rolled with 267 electronics and 3100 health. Again, this would be good to go ahead and try and throw this on anything, rather if you're trying to do a reclaimer build, tactician build, anything that's going to need some skill power, this thing is definitely going to help you out. Next, we're going to be taking our trip across the dark zone on over to the East 40th Street checkpoint. And over at this vendor, you're going to be able to pick up another mod. This one's going to be a stamina mod with 266 stamina and 2% all resistance. I mean, I know it's not the best thing in the world to have all resistance, but you know what? It's going to help you out with trying to give you a little bit of extra toughness and stamina, and I think all around everybody could use a little bit of extra of that. Next, we're gonna be hitting up the East 42nd Street checkpoint, and over at this particular vendor, you're gonna find yourself a pair of Savage Gloves, 983 armor, 1180 firearms, and 5% health on kill. This thing is definitely gonna do some pretty good damage overall. I mean, I think this is definitely gonna be good if you're running an SMG and trying to do some damage over in last stand or just pvp in the dark zone now we're going to be taking a jump inside of the dark zone and hitting up all the safe houses that are in from top to bottom first we're going to be making our stop on over at the dz9 safe house and a lot of you are going to be like why in the world are you taking me all the way up to dz9 for one particular item especially when it's a loud vent break it's actually not that bad it's 18 percent critical hit damage 5.5 percent headshot damage and three percent critical hit chance again you put this on any gun and it will definitely give you a boost in dps all around our next stop, although we haven't really gone all that far into the dark zone, is going to be our very last stop in all the safe houses here in DZ6 over at the church right next to the Q building. Go ahead and stop over at this dark zone special vendor and pick up this reclaimer vest. 1962 armor rolled with 1202 stamina. Go ahead and change that on over for electronics. It's got health. It's got skill haste. This thing would definitely do you some good if you're still looking for an additional piece to your four-piece reclaimer, or even a three-piece if you're rolling around with ninja bike backpacks these days, since you can now do that and mix and match things to your liking. Anyways, guys, be sure to go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already. Sub if you're brand new to the channel. Destiny 2 is going to be on its way next week. We are still going to be continuing to cover the division on this channel each and every single day, and that's not changing. Just because we're adding an additional game to the channel, that does not mean the biggest portion of my community is going to be left out because there's no way in the world I would ever let that happen. Anyways, guys, happy September, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.